you started comedy where? Catch a Rising Star in New York City. The year? 1976. Did they open mic? Yes, Monday night. Still and who line. was the MC? Uh, Richard Belzer. Pretty good MC. And yes. who else was on the show? Jewish kid. Became my good friend. I don't like to mention his name, but we were there the same night. Sure. And uh, 47 years, we're still running the streets in New York City, sometimes doing three or four shows. And You're talking about uh, Jerry Seinfeld from Seinfeld. From Seinfeld. And uh, you guys drove out here together, right? Well, first of all, we became roommates for 13 years. A lot of people don't know that. I'm the, I'm the real roommate for 13 years. Oh, you're years. the real, got it, got it, got it. I'm the real roommate for 13 years. Where do you guys live? We lived at uh, 129 West 81st Street. You were roommates in New York? Yeah. We started together catch a ride. No, I know, but I thought you were roommates out here. Well, when he moved out here, we were roommates for a minute. No, until he found a better place. He got his act together? Yeah, until he got his act together. Um, You guys drove out here together, correct? Yes, we did. And In a Ford LT? What kind of car was it? It actually was a 76 uh, Lincoln. Uh, Continental? Continental, yeah. Uh, kind Continental. Of yeah. That's a big car. Yeah, that was a big car. But it wasn't. It was a two-door. Oh, great. Oh, that's door. more yeah, reasonable. Coupe, yeah. Still and probably I, bigger than most cars today. It's still a, a, a three uh, uh, smart cars. Yeah, yeah you but for two real. Smart, that's true, Neil. You can put just three smart cars on the... Um, and the story I love telling people is, uh, it, if you would mind doing the honors, that you and Jerry went to a uh, fortune teller, palm yeah, reader. Miss, I think it was, her name was Miss Mary or something like that. On, on Melrose? Uh, on Melrose Avenue. We were walking, and you know... Oh, comedians are crazy. Go, oh my God, there's a, a, a psycho. Let's go over there and fuck with her. You know, not believing anything's going to come out of it. Just going over five dollars, whatever it was. We're not going to do anything. Let's, let's go. We went over there, and the, and the lady started reading my palms. She, she said, "Oh my God, you're going to make a lot of money." That's what she said. She said to me, "You're going to." And I'm looking at Jerry like, "You're going to make a lot of money." And then I said, you go. He said, no, I'm not going to go. I said, you go. And I pushed him over there. And the lady read his palm. And she looked at me. And she says, oh, my God. I thought he was going to make a lot of money. you really going to. And then I got pissed. I really got pissed. But I didn't know at the time. She was so right. We should go over there. She's the greatest psychic maybe of all time. As far as I'm concerned. But she was right. I made a lot of money. She was right. definitely right. Let me put it like this. I made enough money. Right. He made a lot of money. He made a lot of money. Yeah. But I do the same thing he, he does. Not, right. I don't I don't have the jet, but he has the jet. Right. So, you have United. No, no, I use his jet. Do you really? Yeah, why not? He says to me the other day, you need to get your own plane. I'm going, what's wrong with this one? <laughs> so, you know, so it's, it's an honor and a pleasure. He's that good to me. He's my best friend. You can't imagine what a friend. I wish everybody had a friend like Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry is not my best friend. He is a hey, friend. Nobody's best friend. Except yours? Except me. Great. I, I'm, a, I'm not going to interrupt he's that. He's an introvert. He's totally introverted. He's, uh, he's on that spectrum where he doesn't do well with people, but he's getting better. He's, what I was going to say is he's, not, he's a friend, but he's a good texter back. He's solid. He's, it, like His fundamentals are solid. He's he remembers. So he, yeah, that's that's his problem. He's so clean. He's never fooled around. He doesn't do everything by the book. He's, his his office is so clean. i when I we, we were roommates. I was actually scared to mess up the kitchen or anything like that. He's just so clean. His office is just like this table. Right. I now. didn't even like that you pushed him in that service. Like, don't push Jerry. <laughs> what did I push him? When you pushed him to the to the palm reader. When, oh, we, when we, he didn't want to do it, and you put it in, I'm like, oh, don't. We, we've had some I fights. would never, you would have to pay me to push Jerry. We've had some fights. <laughs> Physical fights? Yeah. Have you had angry fights or play fights? Yeah, we, we, both. What, what, give me some themes. Once we, we were at his apartment here in West Hollywood, and we go to take the garbage out, and I close the door, and he says to me, You fucking idiot. I don't have the keys. <laughs> I said, why the fuck do I know? Just your house. Why would I know you don't have the keys to your house? So we had to call the locks and stuff, and he chewed me off for that. I'm going, you're fucking stupid. I don't think I talked to him for like three weeks. I don't need this shit. No. Fuck you, dude. You're an adult. Yeah. <laughs> and so he's done shit like them, just like, I guess his wife thinks we, we're very good friends. We're just like two little friends. And he's done shit like he gets mad at me, and I give him, I give him the silo treatment when I get angry. I give oh, him is that your move? That's my yeah, move, too. Yeah. I just want to talk to you. And once I How long? Him, well, it was one day we, we had an argument about something, and we had just moved here, and he said something. I was pissed, and I was eating a sandwich. You know, I made the sandwich myself. Mm -hmm. 
I don't cook. Right. Well, I go so to the it's temple a big and make deal. That, oh, it's a special. This occasion. was a spiced ham sandwich with sandwich bread on Wonder Bread, dude. Shit. He with actually, the with the spread. With the spread. And it's spiced ham. And it's spiced. What ham. a sandwich. Go on. He took the sandwich out of my hand and threw it in the trash. I thought I was gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> But we did the sign on treatment. But once well, again, why did he take it and throw it out? Something I, I wouldn't, because I wouldn't talk to him. I was giving him the sign on treatment. I, I just, oh, my, that'll, that's not going to help throwing well, the sandwich out. Yeah. Um, so you give the sign on treatment too when you get pissed at yeah. people? Well, there's a few reasons. I don't, I have a sharp tongue, so I'm trying to avoid it. Yeah. I'm trying to avoid, I don't, I, I don't want to open it. You know what I mean? Well, I just don't need you when, once I'm pissed. At you. I just don't need you. Oh. I don't need to talk to you. Get well, the that's the thing about being a human being is we're interconnected. And also, I have to prepare, be prepared to m go on if you die. Really? Okay. Yeah. Everyone. My, me and my girlfriend talk about it all the time. Like, yes, I'm incredibly connected to you and I love you so much. But if you die, I have to keep living. This is so true. And, um, and even so with friendships, it's like, yeah, we're friends, but like not... The, you can't just do anything. Hey. It really makes you think. I'm such a smart comedian. Yes, you are. But it is nice to when you eat with Jerry and the check never comes. How'd you know about that? Because I've ate with Jerry before. Yeah, when you eat with Jerry, there's never a check. It's already taken care of before mm -hmm. you get there. And uh, I like that, though. What do you think the tip is? Tip is good. Right, but is it 100%? Is it 200%? No, it could be 50%. You think he... You think... It's a good, like if we all, me, you, and him go to eat and it's uh, uh, $300. Right. It would be 100, 150 easily. I got to think it's 300. I got to think it's 100% of whatever the bill is. The problem with him is not people crazy. know how much money he has, but it's not it's, it's, whether you're, it's whether it's everyone knowing how much money you have. Yeah. They're going, like, come on, man. Like everyone's kind of being don't like, they? Come, so it can be hundred percent sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. I think he has to decide ahead of time. I think it just has to be like a flat hundred percent tip. I'll ask him as soon as I call him. As soon as I get off the out of here. Great, great. I'm not afraid of you. I know when we go to breakfast, he and I, uh, and when I buy dinner, sometimes I don't let him pay. You don't let him? No. Yeah. I can't be one of those guys that go to dinner with him and they pay every, and he pays every time. Never gonna happen. I'm still in like the it's only happened once type thing, so I'm still riding it. You know what I mean? <laughs> if he wants to pay, let him pay, right? You know what? <laughs> he's he's been through it must be fun for him to pay for people. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.